Hey folks, Steve with Prim Coffee here. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Espro P3 glass French presses. Uh, these are Espro's newest products. Um, they've kind of been looking at their product line and uh, retooling things a little bit. So now they've come out with a set of glass French presses that are a little bit less expensive than their stainless steel double wall presses. So if you want to get the, you know, the Espro patented dual wall filter and that you know, cleaner French press cup without a little bit more expense, you can get these guys and brew just as good quality coffee at home. So they come in two sizes. We've got the 18 fluid ounce and the 32 fluid ounce. The 18 is going to be good for maybe one to two cups of coffee or let's say you got a, a nice travel mug you want to bring coffee on the road with you. That's going to be good for this guy. The 32 ounce is good for maybe two to three larger cups of coffee or even three to four if you're going to split some smaller cups with some friends. Um, so we've got two great sizes uh, to fit a lot of different um, brewing preferences and situations. Of course, you don't have to brew a full pot on either of these if you don't want to. So if you just want a single cup out of either one, you'll be just fine. Now, Espero, of course, uh, likes to make their products sort of perfect and the best on the market. So while these are like many other glass French presses, they are also unlike many other glass French presses. Uh, specifically, this glass carafe is made of a much thicker and more durable shot uh, glass, so it's about 40% thicker than most other glass carafes. So basically one of the most common complaints you'll see with French presses is that they break a little bit too easily or they you know, crack at the most inconvenient time, like right first thing in the morning when you're trying to get that cup. Um, so these are gonna be much more durable and they're actually gonna retain a little bit more heat because of that thick glass. So right, from the, uh, right off the bat, we've got a, a nice, more durable product. Uh, it's certainly worth a little bit more uh, than your average department store French press. Um, of course, we have the patented dual layer Espro uh, micro mesh filter. So this has two layers of stainless steel mesh, um, which is gonna give you a much cleaner cup than a standard French press. Um, but it also even has uh, optional paper filters that you can throw in. You just get one of those nice and wet and you sandwich it in between the filter here. So if you prefer an even cleaner cup of coffee, if you don't wanna have uh, you know, the, a little bit of oil that might be on the top of the, of the cup, uh, and you want to make sure that all of the silt is gone, you have that optional paper filter. Um, but these guys do such a good job of cutting out the mud and the silt that you usually find in a French press brew. Um, you know, we've, we've loved them for years and they've certainly been revered for that. So you get, of course, that double wall filter uh, along with this. Now, I'm going to do a quick little brew here just to kind of show you. You brew, you brew just the same way that you would brew for any other French press. Um, now with a 32, I'm gonna do uh, 45 grams of coffee and about 800 grams or milliliters of water. And I'll start my timer right now. So again, brewing with this is just the same as brewing with pretty much any other French press. You can throw your grounds in there, fill up your water, let it steep for about four minutes, and just as a basic recipe, that'll be really darn good. Uh, if you want to get a little bit more funky and play with it. Um, one of our favorite methods is a cupping style brew that uh, I think James Hoffman popularized where you uh, you add your your grounds, you let it steep for a little while and then uh, towards the end of the brew you're actually going to scrape off the excess coffee and let it steep for a little bit longer. Uh, now I don't really need anything but the timer anymore. Um, but again, yeah, just like any other French press, you can just brew as you like. And again, that double wall uh, Espero filter is going to make a very clean, but nonetheless rich cup of coffee. It's basically going to filter out the fines and the sediment that might make it through uh, other mesh filters, but those oils and that richness is still going to come through in the cup. Uh, another nice thing to note is that uh, we've got a little locking mechanism here that you probably won't find on most French presses. So I can show you here on the 18. It's uh, it's a little plastic tab that's glued directly to the glass uh, and it locks in the carafe into the, the handle. So you can throw this guy upside down, it's not gonna fall out, which is great. Again, that's gonna prevent some accidental breakage. It's gonna um, make it a lot easier and more, um, more convenient to pour. You don't have to worry about the carafe slipping out. Um, so really they've thought of a lot of uh, excellent details uh, to add to this product to make it just a little bit better and a little bit more worthwhile than your average French, uh, French press. 
Um, now, unfortunately, because of that tab, we don't really recommend dishwashing, which is okay, because these things are pretty easy to clean out anyway. Um, if you just have like a soft foam brush, you can just get in there with a little soap and water, give it a nice, uh, a nice little soft scrub real quick, rinse it out, and you're, you're good to go for your next brew. Um, everything else, you can throw the filter into the dishwasher if you like, but obviously, you know, it's really easy to take apart. You just give it a little twist, pop it apart, you can soak those, uh, or just give them a little wipe, and in most cases, you're going to be just fine. Uh, we really love the Espo presses for being easy to clean and easy to use in pretty much any case, and these are certainly no exception. So, for my, uh, my larger brew here, I'm about two and a half minutes in. At about four minutes, I'll just give it a press and decant. Again, just as easy to use as any other French press. Uh, you do want to make sure that the, the cup on top is aligned for the slots uh, to be at the spout. Um, but that's, uh, you got a nice little indication arrow here so you know where it is with, uh, without having to actually look or pick it up like I just did. But, uh, you know, that's pretty common in most French presses anyway. But again, Espro's really done a great job with these. A fantastic glass French press. Uh, certainly one of the best we've seen on the market. And uh, once again, we're very impressed with the product that Espro's put out. So that is the Espro P3 French press. Thanks for watching.